My name is Robbie Rogers. I'm director of photography and video at Baylor University. And while I'm living here in Waco and been here for 15 years, I'm originally from Florida and I still call Florida home for some reason. I started photography in high school. I was a junior in high school and believe it or not, I was super shy. And it was a great way to me to not be an introvert anymore. I mean, photography helped me with that because you have this camera and you could shield yourself with it and it sort of protects you. I still carry these two lessons my high school photography teacher taught me. One is imagine you're going somewhere and you're showing people things that they're not able to attend or not able to see. And uh, I love that part of it too because I've been able with my camera to go to places that other people can't go. The second part is even if they're there at these big events and things like that, show them something that they didn't see while they were there. So that's why I like looking for different angles at football games or events on campus or something. I've always want to find something just a little bit different, just to let you see something that you might have missed. You no, know, I started off in, as a high school newspaper photographer. Uh, I, I was so dumb right after school and in my junior and senior year in high school, I went to the local newspaper and I applied for a job and they told me they didn't have any openings at all. So I asked if I could come and just sort of shadow and they said yes. So I was there always the first thing in the morning when they opened up and I was the last one to leave. And after three days of doing that, they couldn't find their photographer and they needed a picture because it was the biggest news in this little town I grew up with. McDonald's was coming and they were putting up the arches. So my very first picture for a newspaper was shooting the arches getting put up there. And I've, and I've truly been working ever since. <laughs> I love sports, I still do. I still create everything in a sports sort of mindset too. And when I was working at Sports Illustrated, you're doing this pinnacle work and you're there competing with just hundreds if, you know, of other photographers. I remember at the Olympics, 600 photographers at one event. We were all together, at one thing. And you have to stand out somehow. I mean, how are you different from everybody else too? So, I mean, I always sort of push myself to look at things a little differently or try to do something a little different. And I still translate that into everything I do. You know, every day for me is a Super Bowl. Every day is, you know, I look at a background first. I look at the subject. I want them to be that active sort of thing. So, so bringing sports into life was sort of easy because I can make people look more active or be part of that. I, I really came to Baylor with the premise that I was here to learn too. And I still do that 15 years later. Honestly, I only thought, you know, my wife and I thought we'd stay two or three years, you know, and find something else. And that's how you move through journalism too. But, you know, we just sort of fell in love with this place and the story and the people too. And that we get to share that so often. The biggest challenge I've faced is myself uh, because, uh, you know, I would challenge myself all the time. and. I, you know, looking back, I wish I would have worked more collaboratively with other photographers. Uh, at the time that I went through in photojournalism too, that wasn't a thing. And I sort of regret that. I'm still friends with a lot of photographers, but it is, it's a very competitive thing. Realistically, I, I always learn more from my failures than my successes. I've had some great successes and I'm super proud of those, but I'm probably more proud of the way that I've come I'm, I like to think of it's like rising from the ashes and I'm a phoenix and I've recreated myself a lot. My ultimate goal and my dream is that one day I'm going to cure cancer. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take such an amazing picture or tell such an amazing story that some student out there somewhere sees this and is motivated to come to Baylor. And with other people, they work collaboratively to do research and greater knowledge, things like that, that eventually they cure cancer. It's just, it's brought me joy and it's brought other people joy, the work that I've done too. And that it's just, I've gotten to know people along the way more than just a passing relationship. I mean, I've got these great intimate relationships with people that I take for granted way too often, but it, it is. And my camera that started as a shield when I've put it down, I've come to realize just recently that I've never really witnessed anything I've ever done. I've always been blocked. Everything has been dark for a moment. I've just had to anticipate my whole life, my whole career. I had to guess what's coming next. So to guess what's coming next is part of that joy too. And I'm glad that I sort of do it blindly. 
and um, I just love that I've had the opportunity to do it as long as I have.